Hello and welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. Today we will talk about what is 5x2 solenoid valve. We will try to make this concept easy for you to understand with the help of 3D animations. Before we talk further about today's topic, I would request you if you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing, turn your notification on so that you don't miss any future video from us. If you visit any manufacturing industry, you will find pneumatic cylinders moving forward and in a reverse direction creating a linear motion. These cylinders are called linear actuators. Pneumatic walls are responsible for controlling this linear motion of the cylinder. Pneumatic solenoid walls are most important component in the industry to control the linear motion of a pneumatic cylinder by supplying compressed air to the pneumatic ports of the cylinder. There are different type of these walls. Most commonly used solenoid wall is 5x2 wave wall. Today we will discuss in detail how does 5x2 wave wall works Stick to the end of the video to get a clear understanding about this topic. Air compressor as you can see here, the job of that nomadic device is to provide you pressurized or compressed air. 5x2 wave wall have 5 ports in 2 positions. This is why we call it 5x2 wave wall. 5 is for 5 ports and two for two positions. You might be still worried and you have a lot of doubts so far, but I will guarantee you if you will watch this video till the end, you will get a more better and clear understanding about today's topic. 5x2 wall have five ports for compressed air. One of these ports is P port. It's pressure port where compressed air enters the wall. There are two other ports, port A and port B. The pressure port P is linked with either port A or port B when the spool inside the wall moves. So when port P is linked with port A, the spool blocks the entry of air towards port B. Similarly, when port P is linked with port B, the spool blocks the entry of the air towards port A spool moves when solenoid coil is energized by the signal coming from the PLC. This PLC signal is a digital signal which is either on or off. There are other ports in the solenoid which are exhaust ports. We will explain what are these ports shortly. We will now see how does this 5x2 wave wall controls the double acting pneumatic cylinder. To control linear motion of the cylinder shaft, we will connect port A and port B of the solenoid wall to the ports of the cylinder with pneumatic pipe. When the PLC signal energizes the coil of the solenoid wall, its spool moves and links the pressure port with port B of solenoid wall and port A with the exhaust port. This way, compressed air moves towards port B and through pipe, it enters the back port of the cylinder. As the compressed air exerts the pneumatic pressure, on the piston of the cylinder shaft, it starts to move forward. Because of the force of a compressed air, cylinder shaft moves forward and gets fully extended outwards. Any existing air in the port A gets exhausted into the atmosphere, as now port A is linked with exhaust port. Now when the PLC signal is turned off, it de-energizes the coil of solenoid wall. Its spool moves and links the pressure port with port A of solenoid wall and port B with exhaust port. This way the compressed air moves towards the port A and through pipe it enters the front port of the cylinder. As compressed air is now exerting the pneumatic pressure on the front side of the piston, it starts to move in a backward direction. Because of the force of a compressed air, slender shaft moves backward and gets fully retracted inside the cylinder body. The compressed air in the opposite side of the shaft piston moves towards the solenoid wall through the pipes and get exhausted into the atmosphere. Now the port B is linked with exhaust port. This cycle of solenoid wall to turn on and off will repeat as PLC is supplying signal to solenoid wall. In a coming session, we will write a PLC program for 5x2 wave wall. With that, I will conclude today's video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Till next video, take care.
and Allah Hafiz.